Was it just me or was it quite a boring game? I think it was know, pretty much it was the so script. I mean, I mean, I think actually the way Frank described it, total control, and then something that we were talking about in, in the green room, second gear for Real Madrid. Real Madrid never left second gear, mm. and yet they still had, to Frank's point, total control. That's what I think you mean by boring, right? What, the, no, nobody. Well, boring is a very, uh, <laughs> it's a very ambiguous sort of word. Right. Well, why did you say boring? Because <laughs> it wasn't boring, Craig. It wasn't boring. It was. It was. I was bored watching it. Right. Without, I was even. I even, without, I even no. dropped my, my my eyes were even drawn to the the all Italian affair. Frank, That's you how even boring it Frank, was. Frank, you even said that that when Chelsea even had their chances, Joao Felix early, my Mason God. Mount late, that they were never going to score. So I mean, I think. What I think you've Milan made the point yourself that you can't really believe Chelsea. One of the are Milan threat. teams might get to the final. No, How but it's not, it doesn't mean it, it, it doesn't mean it. It doesn't mean it was boring. You know what? What so, uh, somehow sometimes you know Real Madrid was offering was very interesting tactically and uh, with the presence of some players it was it was nice to watch. I think it, because it was no surprise mm. that maybe Craig went to the conclusion of uh, saying it's boring. Ah, it's never boring. It's a Champions League game. We saw some fantastic stuff from uh, Valverde, from uh, Vinicius Junior, uh, Benzema. And don't forget that in, in, in goal, in Madrid, you have a, a fantastic goalkeeper who made Real Madrid winning the Champions League last season. And at the, early in the game, he saved on, uh, on Sterling. He saved uh, Real Madrid as well. Boring, Ale. Wrong well, word. it is oh, the matchup. Like excitement. It is the matchup of a, one of the uh, tournament favorites mm -hmm. against a lower tier team. Team in free fall. A, a, yeah. a team who's uh, not even mid table in the Premier League. So that's, and, and, yeah. and that's what we saw. It, it really was a game of what we expected and a game of a team that. You get the sense that if Real Madrid wanted to, if, if they really wanted to push the tempo, if they really wanted to commit numbers forward, that they have the ability to do so. And we go back to the initial point of the conversation. I don't think that Chelsea has any more recourse. Mm -hmm. I don't think Chelsea has a higher ceiling or something better than what we saw today. And the evidence in that is not just today, it's what we have seen over the course of a season. It's the totality of a season that tells you and leads you to believe that they just don't have a whole lot more to give. Real Madrid then, 2 nothing winners at the Santiago Bernabeu over Chelsea in the first leg of the quarterfinals. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.